Warning, the content of the video that you are about to watch pertains to the harvest of fur-bearing wildlife through the practice of ethical, sound wildlife management of modern-day trapping. If this bothers you, if it triggers you in any way, shape, or form, please leave this channel now. Good morning, trappers. How are you? It's Dale Billingsley, Billingsley Brand Lure. You can hear Timber down there doing her thing, so flip things around and get to watching. Oh yeah, there's a dandy coon there in a dry foothold trail just coming across the main highway here and, and headed out to a cow pasture. So anyway, we'll get him took care of and get her going with it. All right, gang, there's one there in the dog proof right here between a couple of Amish houses. Timbers are telling on him. We better uh, get him took care of and get going here. All right, guys, there's another nice coon there. Coming out of cow pasture, going to another cow pasture. So. Anyway, we'll uh, get him took care of and get on our way here. All right, guys. So mainly what I'm filming here and I wanted to show you is the oil slick off of this muskrat lure of mine called the Bat Rastard. Uh, man, you, you can't beat this stuff. I, I'm just, and I'm not bragging on it because it's mine. I would say that if it was about somebody else's too. Uh, it doesn't wash away. It doesn't dry out like a lot of, a lot of others do. Uh, and there's plenty of smell here, plenty of odor. So anyway, that's all I want to say. We'll get on the way here. All right, guys. There's a there's a colony trap packed full of rats. I think there's four in there. Four of them. Four four good ones. Four good rats there. So that was a that was a little good little deal for us. Let's go see if we got any more. There is a bunch of rats in that colony there's trap, guys. Five. There's at least that's... at least five in there, if not oh, more yeah. than that. But that thing is jam-packed full of rats. So anyway, we'll uh, get them shook out of there and go get some. I might have a hard more. time getting them doors <laughs> open. It. There's yeah, there's a bunch of rats in there. All right, guys, there's one there, dog proof here, coming from a pit corn field going to another pit corn field. So anyway, we'll get him taken care of here and get on our way. All right, guys, there's a coon there laying in the corn bear, and everybody says you got to have that high grass and high weeds in order to catch him in a corn bear. Well, I say bullshit. There he is, and that's pretty wide open. So anyway, we'll get him out of there and get on to the next one. All right, gang, so there's one there coming through the fence there between them two, that hedge post and that cedar tree coming out of the cow pasture going across to it this pick corn field so anyway we get him taken care of and get on with it all right guys so i've taken i don't know two or three coon out of this set and then it kept getting robbed bait off of it so mike went down there and, re and moved it around a little bit and by golly it paid us off it, there's a nice buck mink laying there so anyway we'll uh get it put back in and get on with the next one all right, guys. I've taken several coon out of this out of this hole down here in this fish stake. It's like a pretty decent one there again. So anyway, Timber's telling on him. We probably better get him taken care of and get him on our way. All right, guys. There's Timber's mixing it up with one. Got a coming out of the timber here, going across behind me to a to a stand of corn field. So anyway, we'll uh, get him took care of here and get on our way. All right, gang, you can hear Timber over there telling on one. That is a good coon. Caught, caught there in the, in the foothold there in this dry trail. That's the first one this trail's caught for us. Just set it yesterday. Just set it yesterday and uh, picked up a nice big coon there. So anyway, we'll get him taken care of and get on our way. All right, gang, sorry about that. I didn't get these two videoed while they were still breathing. Uh, Anyway, Mike's down there putting those two sets back in. He just put these in yesterday. Uh, we had a pair of dog proofs right up there, and they're still there, and they're still sitting there. The coon ain't even, I don't know what the deal is. We re lured them, rebaited them, everything else, and they just seem to walk right by them. So they started using this down here more now that the weather's getting a little colder. They're going to start going to the water more. So Mike went down there yesterday and jammed in a pair of fish steaks, and sure enough, paid off this morning. There's a pair of good coons, so... Anyway, we'll get on with it, get them remade, and get back at it. All right, gang. So we ended up with 11 coon today, uh, 10 rats, one mink. Guys have been asking how the coon are looking. 
those are some of our those are some of our first wheat coon. Uh, anything that's a two X and up doesn't look too bad. We've got a few blues, a few slates in there, some smaller stuff, but for the most part, bigger coon look pretty good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in to watch, and if you would, please, just hit that thumbs up for me. That's all I'm asking. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.